Hey guys, welcome to this very, very special edition of our review show. I am Adam. This is Sir PJ. Switch that around, didn't I? Yeah. Sir Griffalot. Um, so today, like I said, a very special beer. Uh, we're going to take a look at Three Floyd's newest release um, in collaboration with Mastodon, the band, Crack the Sky. Also it, in collaboration with Dark Matter Coffee. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, Dark, Dark Matter Coffee as well. Um, and there's also another part to this beer as well. Um, PJ, you want to talk about that? It's a big, long thing here, but I think yeah, it's it important. It kind of needs to be, yeah. Yeah, it's important to the beer. Crack the Sky. Barrel-aged coffee rush imperial stout. September 5th through 11th is National Suicide Prevention Week. So Dark Matter Coffee, Three Floyds, Mastodon, teamed up to do a special release that raised awareness and funds for Hope for the Day, an organization that helps people and families of all shapes and sizes deal with mental issues and suicide prevention. This project is called Crack the Sky after the Mastodon album of the same name, which was dedicated to Sky Daler, the sister of Brand Daler, drummer for Mastodon. Sky died of suicide at age 14, which has an obvious impact on her friends and family. The coffee and beer release has a special meaning for Brand, the band, Dark Matter Coffee, and Three Floyds, with proceeds benefiting Hope for the Day. Yeah, and, that's, uh, that's cool. We have uh, hopefortheday.org as the website if you guys need to... Help. Yeah, we're just throwing that out there. And uh, Suicide Prevention Lifeline, uh, their phone number is 1-800-273-8255. If you guys have any issues, please, you know, seek help. And hopefully if you're watching this, it doesn't make you feel Yeah, suicidal. that way. <laughs> we try to do a good job. <laughs> so yeah, like, he, like PJ said, it is a barrel-aged Russian Imperial Stout with dark matter coffee. Yeah, we're not sure if it's bourbon barrel-aged or just regular oak. Yeah, that, that we couldn't Barrel. find out, so I don't know. Maybe we'll, like PJ said off camera, he said maybe we'll be able to tell as soon as we crack into it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Crack the bottle. <laughs> um, so yeah, without any any more talking, let's uh, go ahead and get this open. Alright. I guess we realize why it was so much now. Yeah, this is... Price oh. a little more than normal. Oh, that smells good. Which, you know, whatever. If it's going to a good cause, then maybe they can make another beer that benefits liver research. To <laughs> For us. All right. Got it poured. All right. And did you, I don't think it said the, I think it's 11%. 11 you and a half, half, something like that. Somewhere in that range. 11. 11 39 IBUs. That's pretty low for a Russian Imperial Stout, isn't Especially it? coffee. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so, appearance-wise, it looks like... Yeah. You get kind of a reddish tinge, I don't know. I always it's say that, though. Slightly at the bottom, just yeah, the just slightest. Barely. So it's not pitch black, but it's it's pretty damn dark. See, that's a good smell. Wow. Um, maybe... Are you going to hint of bourbon? Just like the yeah, slightest, yeah. like... Very oaky, yeah. too, though. Um, it smells like espresso. Yeah. Even just like the slightest hint of bourbon. I don't know if it's bourbon barrel age, but it's... I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and say I think it is. Uh, yeah. Because it does have that quality to it. But it's very oaky. Yes. Like vanilla. I could see it either way. Yeah. I could see it either way. Oh, it smells like Big Bad Baptist from... Uh, I haven't had that. Actually, yeah, I have. It was... What's the name of that damn brewery? Epic. Epic. Yeah, thank you. It, to me, it smells just like that. And that beer is amazing. So This kind of reminds me of Minus the Coconut, Last Snow, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's the perfect beer, I think, for as cold as it is outside and even inside PJ's home. No heat right now, so we're just like... Ooh. It smells delicious. Yeah, it does. It smells amazing. It smells e excellent. All right, well, let's get into it then. Cheers. Definitely burnt barrel age. Oh wow! That is <laughs> that's excellent. Oh man, that's three balanced floats, that, perfectly. That's wow. It, it it has to be bourbon. Yeah, it doesn't. Just, it, I mean, we're crazy then if it's, it's not. too like that's too much alcohol heat. It can't be. I wouldn't think that eleven percent would be. Oh man, have that much alcohol heat off of it. But it's very balanced. Like he said, it's just crazy. This wonderful sweet bourbon vanilla with this wonderful blend of dark matter coffee dark chocolate is, is on the, perfect in the back like that's 
This it, is it's so easily drinkable too. Like I don't know about you, but to me, I'm not really getting much heat. I don't know. Is that maybe that's just like the initial it. drink, and then like after. Yeah, it almost gone. has like a chili pepper burn. Yeah, doesn't it? It's not it's like part an of the coffee. The yeah. Man, that's really really good. <laughs> it's so drinkable too. It's got a thicker mouthfeel too. Like <sighs> I like that. It kind of reminds me of oatmeal stout. It's kind of like that creamy, yeah, silky, velvet smooth. Wow. Yeah, tons of, and I get a touch of smoke too. Just a little bit of smoke on, on the end of it That's too. That makes me think it's, it could definitely yeah. be bourbon barrel. I wish I knew, well, but I think we do know. <laughs> yeah. I think we do know. I would almost bet 95% that it's bourbon barrel age. If it's not, then I don't know what kind of sorcery they pulled <laughs> on this beer to make it taste like a bourbon barrel aged stout without a bourbon barrel. I think this is my favorite. Uh, they do a lot of these collaborations with bands. So they've done Cannibal Corpse. Um, was that that one was hopped hopped in half, right? Yeah, and there's another one with the uh, red. <laughs> Damn it! The red IPA or whatever it was. The sour, wasn't it? The red sour. Well, that was red Skel Dead. That was Skeleton Witch. Yeah, Skeleton Witch. Well, we can look back there. Oh no! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we, they've done a couple. And they've all been pretty good. Nothing insanely good, but this, this is, one this is, is on a different level. Insanely good. I love beers that have a good, you know, uh, story to them, and, and they're trying to raise awareness for suicide prevention, and they make a killer beer. I've, I've had beers like that before. They're they're doing good, but the beer is just kind of yeah, just know, like they threw yeah, something okay. together like on the and it's you know it's great and all, but the beer doesn't necessarily follow that. This does. This is the first beer that I've seen. Oh. It's incredible. It's such a good beer. Um, and it went fast. I it went it, yeah. so fast. So that, that's all that being said, what a wonderful beer. This is insanely good. So, yeah, I, uh, I wish I had like eight bottles of this. You just drank all these. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I don't know what else to add to it other than our scores. What do you think, BJ? I don't want to give it a hundred, but I do. Like just, yeah. <laughs> it's it tastes to me like it's been like aged for like two years, and it's just like matured. Like I don't know, it tastes mature to me. Yeah. It, I, I'm gonna go. I think a, a ninety. I'm gonna go ninety-seven. Border ninety-eight. I'm I'm right there in between. Oh, uh, I think this is X. Like I'm gonna give it a ninety-nine, just so I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll stay with nine ninety-seven. I feel like that's a good score too. So, yeah, um, hopefully they do it again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's three Floyds, you know, they everything they put out is pretty amazing, but this one's kind of sticks out to me a little bit. So, yeah, anything else to add? Just, if you see this beer, <laughs> buy it. If you see it, get it. I got mine again at the keg in Clarksville. Um, thank you guys. They're always awesome at letting me know when they get stuff like this in, so that's the only reason I have it right now, because they're so awesome to let me know. Oh, so gracias, and thank you all. And yeah, again, uh, hero for the day dot org. Hope for the day. Hope for the day. I'm thinking of the Metallica song. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, hope for the day dot org. And uh, the suicide prevention lifeline number is one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. Once again, if you guys have any issues, just seek help. Yeah, absolutely. It's the temporary problem doesn't need a permanent solution. Yeah. So. Couldn't say it better myself. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this was Crack the Sky, Mastodon, Three Floyds. Uh, grab it if you can. Absolutely just grab it. Just one little tidbit. Always awesome artwork. Oh, their, I know, yeah. Their that's, just, that's all the, off the album, right? Yeah, pretty much. Like some of it, yeah. But yeah, I forget the guy's name. But Zimmer, it's the Zimmer design. Zimmer it's, design. Yeah, okay. they, pretty much all of them. Like you, I want to try to you can see back here, the artwork is just insane. Hopefully you guys can see that. But yeah, so grab it if you can. And again, thanks for watching, and we will see you soon in another review. See Bye you guys. Sam.